As we mentioned earlier in the broadcast, a growing number of middle-class Americans are falling into poverty. It's hard to imagine everything that you've worked for slowly slipping away unless you've lived it. Byron Pitts introduces us to a family that is living it. If you hit rock bottom, where would you go? Who would you write? Dear Mr. Robinson. Diane Struble of Greensboro, North Carolina, wrote to her local newspaper. I'm not the homeless man down on the corner begging for change. I'm anybody living anywhere, USA. Two years ago, Diane and Todd Struble were living the dream. College educated, careers, middle class, a combined annual income of $85,000. A lot of that was donated. But in November 2009, Todd lost his job and hasn't had a steady paycheck since. At this point, have you guys calculated how broke are you? Savings account, how much money in a savings account? Zero. Twenty, $25 because that's the minimum to keep the account. Checking account. It's probably about 100 right now. 401k. Oh, wow. Hers is gone, and uh, I, I had <clears throat> to take out what I could out of my pension. Chicken and dumplings, which is one of their favorites. Diane is now the primary Chicken. breadwinner, earning $22,000 a year. No, They've gone from middle class to below the poverty line. So what's in this picture? A local school teacher, picture? she's getting a daily education oh. in humility. Bats. She talked yeah, about it in that letter she emailed to the local about. newspaper. I'm grateful for the leftover cereal that I sneak out of work in an oversized purse. And I'm grateful for my superiors who, who see but pretend they don't see. Not easy writing that kind of letter. No. Why'd you hit send? When you've been in this situation for a long time, you, you, um, you feel beaten down. She's not alone. In Guilford County, where the Struvels stay, 21% of families their size live below the poverty line. If you had to put the money that you have access to on the table right now, how much money would you have? Less than what pe some people pay for a dinner out. When was the last time you cried? Last night. The Struvels have eight children, four still live at home. Space is tight reminders of their old life stored outside. We try to disguise the fact that it's a closet. Their walk-in closet is now six-year-old Sadie's bedroom. But it takes more than stuffed animals and pink sheets to fool teenagers. They know the hard truth. Ben is 14. I remember one time we had a, it was about soup for two weeks or was it longer? I don't know. But it was just two weeks, I'm gonna say, about every day just having soup. That was, that was kind of rough. And today, are you the face of poverty, you think? We are the growing edge of poverty. Um, the growing edge of poverty? Yeah. What does that mean? I, I think there is becoming a greater and greater divide between the haves and have-nots. Bless and keep each of us. Help us to remember you are with us always. Tonight in many homes across America, that divide is growing. Byron Pitts, CBS News. Greensboro, North Carolina.